Okay, so I'm doing this on my dad's cell phone because I'm out of I'm out of uh, cell phone memory in my uh, cell phone. I'm tired. Excuse me. Anyway, I've got a new opener installed. I've actually had this installed for about three weeks, and I'm taking it down today. Put a 3850 back up. You'll see why later. Well, here's the trolley and the idler pulley. As you can see, they're silver. It's also a full chain drive, which means that it's got to be an old opener from the 70s or so. This is not the original rail. This is the rail that I got off of my deluxe uh, electro lift, but it's a Chamberlain made unit. So any last second guesses? Bam. Liftmaster 1000 series. I got this from Mike down at All Pro in California. Big thanks. This thing is great. Um, now there's no actual date printed on these units. However, you can tell if you do a little bit of looking just about when it was made. Um, the relay that I had in my relay service video, uh, that's the older style relay. This does not have that kind of relay. This is a newer relay. That relay uses an electromagnet to switch between the contacts. This one has a solenoid on it that switches the contacts for it, so it's not an electromagnet. Oh, um, it's a switch. Or a solenoid. Anyway, um, I also looked, I took the thermal light delay off. Uh, actually, that did work, so... I just took it off to see. Uh, the date on that is February 1980. So either the unit was built in 1980 or the um, the thermal light delay was replaced back then. So it's, you know, from what I've heard online also, it's between 1978 to 1980. Uh, no light cover. It's just the same bare light bulb sticking out. Sorry, Garage Door Geek. I had to steal that one from your Super Glide video. Anyway, I'll give you the specs here. Uh, it's a quarter horsepower, focus, there we go, uh, 117 volts, 4.5 amps, quarter horsepower, model G5422, system G6422, serial number, assembled in Mexico, unfortunately, I just prefer that the American company assemble their openers in the US, which there's no problem with having it assembled in Mexico, I just think it'd be nice. Anywho, um, there's the back panel. Uh, on the electro lifts, the deluxes and the super glides, or the electro lift executives and the deluxes, there's four screws on the side of the case that hold it in. This case only has two screws this one on the front, right there, and this one on the back, right here. There's a couple little prongs that stick up into the metal frame of the opener to hold it up on top, but the, you know it just pulls right out. Um, but yeah, so as you can see there, I've got a Craftsman receiver, so my parents can use their remotes. Um, but I'm taking this thing down again today, as I said, to put it at 3850. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, we'll go outside and I'll get you an idea for speed here. All right, open it back up from the fingerprint keypad. I don't know why these lights look like they're flashing on the iPhones, because they're solid. Oh, come on, let me in. This receiver sucks. There it goes. I just put fresh batteries in that keypad, too. Okay, um, I will get a shot of it closing from in here, and um, yeah, Let's see if I can do this without managing to hit a license plate.
Eh, what the hell, I'll give you a top view. It's just because I can. Get you up nice and close to the opener. Clank the bolt. Here we go. Oh, I got lucky with that one. Whoops. I guess that's it for today. Um, yeah. I will see you later. Take it easy.